Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing as well as possible at the moment. I am back with quite an exciting video for you today. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to be filming this. Um, this is a tag video with the lovely Gem from Wheels No Heels. I will include her uh, link in the description below so you can go and check her out. Basically, um, she I saw her advertise on her Instagram that she was looking for wheelchair users to take part in a collab with her and I love her videos, I've been watching them for quite a while and find her really funny but also really relatable and she it's really nice to have um, a YouTuber that kind of talks about disability and chronic illness in a very relatable and understandable way. Um, so yeah, I've been watching her videos for a long time and following her on Instagram for quite a long time and really enjoy her content. So when I saw that she was looking for people to collab with, um, I thought I'd send her a little email and see if she wanted me, wanted to collab with me. And she sent me, sent me one back. And yeah, I was really excited to get the email back. Um, so basically she has tagged me to take part in the wheelchair tag, which is a tag that she has come up with um, to try and help people get to know other wheelchair users or if you're not a wheelchair user, just to find out a little bit more about why people use a wheelchair and yeah, all sorts of things to do with disability and wheelchair use. So when I saw the questions, I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna give this a go, I will take part. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and answer the questions that Gem has set. Um, as best as I can and then at the end of the video I will tag a few other wheelchair user uh, YouTubers that I know so that hopefully we can keep this tag going and it also be a really nice way for like us to find other wheelchair like other YouTube wheelchair users um, to get to know because it's always nice to kind of find a community on YouTube. So there's a few questions to get through. I will try not to babble too much, but you do know me, I am quite good at rambling. Um, so let's get started. So the first question is, why do you use a wheelchair? And it's a bit of a roundabout answer. Um, it's not, I, don't, I guess my, the reason I use a wheelchair isn't like one simple answer. Um, basically I use a wheelchair because I am chronically ill. Um, I have a genetic condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome um, and that comes with a whole host of symptoms which I won't go into too much because that will be a video of its own um, but basically it can cause pain, fatigue, um, dislocations on a regular basis or kind of partial dislocations um, and then I have various other illnesses that kind of link to that so I have something called POTS which affects my blood pressure and my heart rate um, I also get fatigue, um, gastro problems, bladder problems, mast cell problems um, a whole host of different illnesses um, I have also recently had surgery on my leg so I've had a femoral osteotomy where they broke my thigh bone and realigned it and it's been fixed together with a rod and screws um, that's kind of separate to having my other chronic illnesses although we're not sure like how much the EDS has to do with the problem that I had with my leg in the first place it's complicated anyway I use a wheelchair because I can't walk very far um, I end up in too much pain, I end up too tired, I end up feeling faint and dizzy and I started using a wheelchair when I was about 15, 16 and before that I'd been ill for a little while. Um, I was actually born, because it's a genetic condition, I was born with my illness but I didn't start getting really ill until I was about 15. So I'd spent quite a while sort of being unwell and I just wasn't able to do anything, I wasn't able to go anywhere because I couldn't walk too far. Um, if I wanted to go somewhere I was having to hold on to somebody and I'd maybe only be able to walk like a few steps before I'd had enough. Um, and so yeah, back then I looked into getting a wheelchair and it was a really strange and scary thing to have to look into and I kind of had differing levels of support from um, my kind of medical team. I had a paediatrician who was really against me using a wheelchair um, and I had a GP who 
kind of understood why I would need a wheelchair. So it was difficult because I didn't have full support, but I had full support from my family. And so I got a wheelchair. Um, first of all, we borrowed one from the Red Cross and then I got one on the NHS um, and it just made such a difference to my life. It meant that I could go out to places um, that I wouldn't have been able to go out to before. I could go shopping, I could go out for walks, I could go to National Trust places, all because I had a wheelchair that meant I wasn't having to use energy to do walking. And yeah, that's <laughs> that's a long, long explanation about why I use a wheelchair. Basically, it's because I have chronic illnesses that affect my ability to walk. And so I use a wheelchair so that I can access the world that I wouldn't be able to access without it. The next question is, are you a part-time or full-time wheelchair user? And I would say I'm a part-time wheelchair user because I can walk. Um, we are known as ambulatory wheelchair users and that can come with a lot of stigma because if you're in a wheelchair and then you stand up and you walk, there are a lot of people who will make a judgment about that. They will make comments about like, oh, you're like, they'll, sometimes they'll make stupid comments like, oh my gosh, you're healed, like, and all this kind of stuff. Other times you'll get comments about not, you know, you don't need a wheelchair, you, like a wheelchair, why are you using one? Um, you know, you're, like you put give disabled people a bad name all these kind of things um but there are also a lot of understanding people out there and i think ambulatory wheelchair users are becoming more known about and more understood and that's why it's so important to kind of raise awareness and talk about it because not everyone in a wheelchair needs one like full time um i at the moment I'm walking with crutches because of my operation, um, I can't walk very far but I can kind of get out and perhaps walk into my doctor's surgery or something like that. So it's a bit confusing for people I think if they've seen me walking and then they see me in a wheelchair, use, uh, in a wheelchair they don't quite understand like why I can walk one minute and then I can't the next. Um, but yeah, that's just how I need my wheelchair and a lot of other people need their wheelchairs. So yeah, I use mine, I would say part-time, but I do use it a lot. So if I go out pretty much anywhere, I will use my wheelchair. Um, but when I'm at home, I'm okay to kind of walk around the house. So the next question is, what is the make and model of your chair? Um, I actually have two chairs. So the first chair is a manual chair. Um, it's one that I got through the NHS. Um, I don't actually know what the make and model is. I would need to go through some paperwork. Um, but basically, it's meant to be slightly more lightweight. I would say that it's not massively lightweight. Um, I had a different manual chair before it, and it, this is definitely lighter than that one. But for me, I still can't like propel myself so it has the big wheels at the back so that you could propel yourself if you want to but I would really struggle to do that um but yeah so that's my NHS chair and then um I wasn't eligible for a power chair through the NHS because I don't need it in the house um I need it outside they it's I don't fit the criteria so I then had to save up and buy a second hand power chair um, and the one I got is a Pride Fusion. Um, it was second hand but it was in relatively good condition and it kind of suited what I need. Um, it's got a headrest which is what I really wanted. It has um, like support behind the legs which I needed. The legs will go up so I can put my legs up if I need to and the um, chair will also, um, you can like recline the chair and all sorts of things like that. So yeah, that's the one I went for. It wasn't kind of um, specially made or anything like that or specially fitted to me because it was second hand, but it was what I could afford and yeah, it does the job. So I've got a Pride Fusion and that's the one that I tend to mainly use now. So the next question, which I've kind of already answered is, do you just have one chair? Um, and the answer is no, I have a manual wheelchair and I have my power chair. Again, like I said, I mainly use my, my power chair now because it gives me independence. I can 
control it myself and I don't have to rely on somebody else pushing me um, but I do still use my manual wheelchair occasionally um, so for example when we went on holiday when we went to Ireland and when we went to Disneyland Paris I used my manual chair because one we went to Ireland when we, we flew to Ireland and um, it was going to be a right nightmare trying to get the um, power chair on the aeroplane and then with Disney, Disneyland Paris I couldn't get a wheelchair seat on the train so I had to take the manual chair so that we could fold it up. Um, those are generally the only reasons I've used a manual chair now I think. I, apart from that I really haven't used it much. Um, but yeah most of the time these days I will use my power chair. Next question is your chair electric or manual and I've been, I've already answered that because I have a manual and I have an electric chair. Next question is what cushion do you use and why? And I'm a bit boring I'm afraid, I just use the cushion that they came with. So my manual chair um, came with just a black square cushion um, and that's what I use because it suits me, like I mean the manual chair I don't really sit in anyway anymore but the cushion that it came with is kind of comfortable enough for if I do need to sit in it. My electric chair, um, again I just use the cushion it came with but I have considered whether I need to get something different um, because sometimes I can spend like all day in my in my chair so if I've gone up to London for a hospital appointment or if we're out for the day um, I do find that I start to get a bit uncomfortable um, when you're sitting down a lot and you can't get up necessarily to kind of move around um, you do start to get more uncomfortable so I have wondered whether I need to get like a pressure cushion or something um, but I just haven't really known where to start to be honest so I'd be interested to hear other people's like answers to this to see kind of what's out there which is another great reason for doing this tag because it just kind of opens hopefully will open my eyes a bit to like what other things are out there to kind of make life a little bit easier for you but certainly at the moment I just use the cushions that they came with um yeah that's that's me I'm afraid it's a little bit boring but that's what I do at the moment. The next question is what is your dream wheelchair and I I don't have like a specific model or brand in mind because I haven't looked into it in that much um, detail but I have got like ideas in my head of what my dream wheelchair would be and like realistically I think my dream wheelchair scenario would be that I would need different wheelchairs depending on what I was doing. So for example I would love to be able to go out in the countryside a bit more and it's just not massively possible in my chair. Like I can go to some places if they've kind of got an accessible path or if the gr if it's like on grass and it's been dry for a long time then I, that's okay I can just about manage that in my chair but anything else is just too like bumpy or yeah just not good terrain for my wheelchair so I would love to have like an off-road wheelchair that I could you know go for walks in the woods and you know stuff like that with like the big wheels and it wouldn't matter if they got muddy and all that kind of stuff so I'd love to have something like that um, and then for like everyday use I mean my chair is fairly okay um, there are things about it that I would change so I don't know now whether I would get so mine has like two wheels whereas you can get one that's got a big wheel in the middle and then two wheels either side and that gives you a smaller turning circle so I'm not sure whether I would possibly want to get that one next time um, but yeah I feel like my wheelchair pretty much does everything that I need it to apart from being able to go like off-road I mean if I had a wheelchair that could climb stairs that would be pretty cool um, but <laughs> I mean I've seen stuff like that kind of going around Facebook sometimes but I think that's not kind of like widely available um, but yeah I'd say like I don't know whether I would make it a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more user friendly like I find that there's nowhere to like put my bag unless I put it on the back and then I'm worried about you know like something getting stolen out of it um, 
I'm, I'd like to have like some sort of like covering so that if it rains um, it kind of can come over me and then keep me dry. Um, I mean I feel like I'm like designing like the wheelchair of the future now with all these different things on it. It could even have little windscreen wipers so that when you're going along outside you can still see. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think those would be my sort of like dream my dream like ideas but I don't know how you would combine that all into one wheelchair um so yeah that's what I would love but it's probably not going to happen the next question is what is your favorite or most useful skill you have learned and again I am pretty rubbish when it comes to skills I don't think I know any um Certainly in my manual wheelchair I could never do any skills because I would need someone to push me and I don't have the strength to kind of do it myself. And in my uh, power chair I don't think there's really any skills that I can learn. Um, certainly none that I know of, maybe I need to have a little look and see what other people do. Um, I mean I can go around in circles. Um, <laughs> I'm very good, I have a very good skill of getting stuck. Um, so I have got stuck in like muddy grass, I've got stuck in gravel. <laughs> um, but these are not skills that you would want to learn. Um, but yeah, I'm afraid I don't, I don't have any like cool skills, which is a bit sad really. But yeah, I've just never managed to pick any up. And then the next question is, what skill slash trick do you wish you could do but can't? I think the main one that I wish I could do in my manual chair is to be able to tip backwards without falling out um, because that would make life a lot easier for getting um, like up and down pavements and things like that um, and also it's just a cool trick to be able to do isn't it to like lean backwards a bit and not fall over um, but I just don't think I'd ever be able to do that because I don't have like the upper body strength um, apart from that I don't really know of any other tricks so maybe this is something I need to look into I'd love to hear what other people's tricks are because I think that would make it quite interesting to see what else is out there and what tricks that I could start learning I mean yeah with an electric wheelchair I just are there tricks you can do in an electric wheelchair let me know because I'm really interested <laughs> next question is what is the best thing about being in a wheelchair um I mean there are quite a lot of good things to be honest I mean the best thing for me about being in a wheelchair is being able to access the world in a way that I wouldn't be able to if I didn't have a wheelchair um, and that's the most practical like best thing I guess you know I can go out and I can do things that I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't have my chair I mean if we're talking about it in a funny kind of way one of the good things about being in a wheelchair is you often get like preferential treatment and I don't know whether I should should be happy about this because most of the time I don't want preferential treatment I just want to be treated equally to everybody else however it is quite nice to have a few perks sometimes because being disabled and chronically ill is crap sometimes and you have a hell of a lot of crap to be dealing with so sometimes it is nice to have a few perks so for example being able to get to the front of queues um, when you go shopping in Primark you don't have to queue you can go to like the end and just pay there um, when you go to a theme park you can um, usually like skip the queues or there's a different queue for people with disabilities that's often shorter um, yeah those kind of things are always nice um, but yeah I'd say I would say the best thing about my wheelchair is just what it allows me to do and then on the flip side of that the next question is asking what is the worst thing about being in a wheelchair and I feel like I could be here for a while talking about this and I have made a video about my wheelchair pet peeves I will link that below if you want to kind of hear a lot more about that kind of thing um the worst thing about being in a wheelchair is probably how you're treated I guess and that's in quite a wide sense so for example accessibility there is still a lot of problems with accessibility um, like not having dropped curbs and dropped curbs that aren't actually dropped curbs and not being able to get into certain places because they haven't got a ramp or they don't have a disabled toilet and 
like all these things that you have to have you have to end up considering that you wouldn't consider if you you know weren't in a wheelchair those kind of things drive me crazy because it's just another whole load of planning that you have to do and then you have to accept the fact that you can't get into a lot of places and do things that you want to do and you're constantly having to fight for your rights um but also how people some people i would say how they treat you when you're in a wheelchair so um i find that i often get ignored when i'm in a chair like i went to a hospital appointment a while back and i was in the front of the queue and my dad was behind me um like at the reception and the receptionist looked up she looked at me and then she just looked at my dad and went can i help you sir and i'm like hello <laughs> what, what about me I, just because i'm sitting in a wheelchair doesn't mean that i'm not part of this queue um so it is massively frustrating um i find sometimes that people will just talk to the person that's with me and won't talk to me um i also find that being in a wheelchair people seem to think you're kind of fair game for asking really personal questions um people will often come up to me and they'll ask me why i'm in a wheelchair and what happened and what did i do um or they'll start asking questions about my relationships and um you know do you work and all these kind of things that you wouldn't go up and ask you know a, a, a stranger normally um yeah, but we're, being in a wheelchair just seems to end up putting you in that situation so there's a lot of things that are difficult about being in a wheelchair um and I do try my best to kind of call those things out and fight against them and fight for kind of better access and things like that but sometimes you just you just want to go about your life normally I don't like the word normally but you know you just want to get on with things without having to constantly fight and ask for you know things to be made accessible to you that would be accessible to somebody else um so yeah there are a lot of frustrating things about being in a wheelchair next question is what is your dream wheelchair accessory um, and then she's put in brackets things like a free wheel a power bike etc etc um i'm not massively like clued up on wheelchair accessories if i'm if i'm honest um i've seen quite a lot of people who have things like smart drives on their manual wheelchair and i would be quite interested to try that and see what it's like um whether it would make my manual wheelchair easier to use um and kind of what the differences would be between using that and my power chair um but yeah apart from that i just i don't really know what accessories there are um i mean i would like to kind of decorate my wheelchair a bit more and make it look a little bit less medical um i've seen some people put all sorts of like cool things on their wheelchair just to make it look cool um i haven't got anything on my manual wheelchair at all um you know i love like with jem she's got the pink um i can't remember what they're called but the things that you hold on to um to help you grip and they look really cool i don't know I would have to be careful about what I could put on my manual chair because it's not actually mine so I'd have to make sure that it was kind of temporary and that it could come off without damaging it um and then when it comes to my power chair I mean I've seen people put all sorts of things fairy lights and like little things on the joystick and headrests and all sorts of like decorative things and I would love to decorate my wheelchair a bit more but I just don't know where to start um and so yeah i'm really intrigued to hear what other people say to see if it can give me some ideas my only other problem is that with my electric wheelchair um i have to fold it down every time i want to put it in my car which is quite a lot because that's when i use it i i go out in the car and then i'll get my wheelchair out so i'm constantly having to fold it down and then fold it up again so that does limit me a little bit on what i can put on it to decorate it um because it does need to be able to fold up and down very easily and have like the arms taken off and everything like that so yeah it's slightly difficult but i would like some accessories just to make it look a little bit less medical and a little bit more fun but kind of practical accessories i just don't i don't really know what's out there so i'm kind of interested to know yeah what's available and what could make my life a little bit easier um so i'm looking forward to watching some of these videos and kind of getting some ideas 
Next question is, what is the weirdest slash stupidest question you have been asked being in a wheelchair? Oh my gosh, where do I start? Um, <laughs> oh, over the years I've been asked so many questions. Um, I mean, you get that, there's always that question you get where someone will come up and say, what have you done? And I, I just, sometimes I feel like, and a lot of my friends get this too, and I often just feel like saying to somebody, I haven't done anything, I was born. <laughs> um, people kind of expect you to be in a wheelchair because you've done something, so you've had an accident or something has happened to kind of make you disabled, whereas, you know, for a lot of people they were born that way and nothing happened, that's just how, how they are. So I do, I always find that question a bit difficult to answer. Um, I'm just trying to think of as like weird questions. I mean, you get the weird questions about like, oh, can you have sex or can you get pregnant or can you do that? Like, I don't know, like really weird questions that you just would not ask, ask anybody else. But some people seem to think that because you're in a wheelchair, it's okay to ask stuff like that. Um, I always just think that's a bit odd. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else like weird that I've been asked. Um, I don't know really. Those are the ones that like stick in my mind. I'm sure I'll think of plenty like once I've finished filming this, but those are certainly the ones that kind of stick in my mind. I've definitely heard other people get asked weirder questions than that, but so far I've been slightly more lucky <laughs> in that I've only had like some weird questions but you know there's plenty of time to hear some more <laughs> and then the last question is what advice would you give to someone who is choosing a new wheelchair um phew, I think I would just say like make sure you get one that is suitable for you so before you even like go to choose a wheelchair I would make a list of all the things that you kind of want or need out of a wheelchair um, this is what I did mainly for my power chair for my for my manual chair I didn't get a huge amount of options because it was through the NHS it was kind of like this is what you're getting um, whereas when I went to get, wanted to get a power chair I kind of had to think about okay what do I actually want and <clears throat> I knew that I wanted support behind my legs because with having my manual chair that's something that I find quite difficult. I knew that I needed to be able to put my legs up um, I knew that I wanted my chair to be able to recline if I started feeling like faint or dizzy I knew that I needed a headrest because I struggle with like keeping my head up by myself sometimes um, and then it was like things like you know how big do I need my turning circle to be how big does the wheelchair need to be um, what kind of things while I be wanting to do with it all that kind of stuff so making a list of all of those things kind of helps when you're then going to look at chairs because you can talk to the the shop people or the wheelchair dealer um, and they can see what you're looking for so they know kind of which ones to recommend to you um, and also I would say to try the wheelchair out before you buy it this is something that I did um, I I mean <laughs> when I went so I got to have a little like ride around the car park in the wheelchair some places will let you kind of borrow a wheelchair for a certain amount of time to see if it's kind of the right one for you um, so look into what options there are because I think it's a really good idea to try before you buy it's a lot of money to spend and you want to make sure that it's going to meet your needs um, and it's going to feel comfortable because you know something that you think you might need you might actually not and also you might have missed stuff out that actually you realize when you've got it actually I need it to be able to do this so yeah definitely give it a try and yeah make sure you've kind of done all that before you even think about buying the wheelchair also look into things like grants there's a lot of places that will offer grants or um like financial help with buying a wheelchair um I'll see if I can find some links to places to kind of look into stuff like that because wheelchairs are a lot of money and as I said like you're not many people are eligible for one on the NHS especially one that kind of is a little bit more like specific and does different things so you know 
look for, look for grants, look for financial help, don't be afraid to like raise money, a lot of my friends have had to do that, ask kind of local businesses and places like the Lions and all that kind of stuff if they can help with like you know contributing money towards it um, and yeah do fundraising and stuff like that as well um, don't kind of stress out about trying to find all that money yourself because it's a lot and there are plenty of kind of people who would like to help um, you know make sure that someone that needs a wheelchair gets the one that they need so yeah there's a lot that goes into do like finding a wheelchair and maybe I'll make a separate video or do a blog post about it but those would be my top tips for someone that's kind of starting out with looking for a new wheelchair and then the last thing that I need to do is tag some more YouTubers and these need to be YouTubers who use wheelchairs which is slightly tricky because I don't actually like follow that many people that use wheelchairs obviously I follow Jem but I can't tag her because she's already done it so I'm gonna tag um, Tanya I will link their tags down below so that you can find them because I know she uses a wheelchair and also um, Georgina because I know that she uses a wheelchair as well again I'll put their like names up here so that you know who they are I think those are the only two wheelchair user um, YouTubers that I know so they're the ones that I'm going to tag but I'm also going to tag you if you are in a wheelchair and you want to do this tag as well please go ahead because the more the merrier I think and just make sure when you're doing the tag that you let me know that I have tagged you and that you're sharing the video so yeah I've mentioned me in it and also please mention Jem because she's the one that started the tag and it would be nice to, for her to be able to follow how many people are doing it as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video I have really enjoyed collaborating with Jem and I hope you've enjoyed watching it if you have and you'd like to see more please give me a like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell that means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything leave me a comment let me know if you've got any answers to these questions and also yeah just tell me about your wheelchair and what it does for you also let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do if there's any collabs or tags or anything else that you'd be interested in or anything to do with disability and wheelchair use let me know what you'd like to see also follow me on social media I'm mainly on Instagram and Twitter my links are in the description but I will pop them up here as well it would be really lovely to see you over on my Instagram and Twitter to say hello and have a chat and I will see you in another video very soon bye